So it's been a minute, it's been a year, and ironically, the first video that I'm posting to my YouTube channel in a year is the same topic as my very recent video. If you didn't know, which I don't know how you would, I went to NSLC last year at American University under the film, journalism, and media arts. So these are my do's and don'ts, NSLC 101 from an old pro that has only been there one year. There's so many things that I wish that I knew before going into NSLC for the first time. So I'm here to be the guiding light, the second star to the right, if you will, of NSLC little preparation fairies. But before we get started, I do want to say a quick disclaimer. I went to one NSLC last year at one school in one location under one category. So take what I say with a little grain of salt. This year I'm going um, to what am I going to? I'm going to the acting intensive at Columbia University from July 12th to the 29th and then um, to the film production and script writing one at American University from June 29th to July 7th. If you're going to either of those and you see me, say hi because that would be really really weird and cool. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with when you arrive and like what the actual experience is about. Basically, you're gonna get dropped off there, you're gonna get all your stuff out of your Uber car, however you got there. And someone literally, one of the TAs, they literally like take you away so quickly, you don't get to say goodbye to your parents basically at all. You get the stuff out of your car, um, and like there are a bunch of TAs there to help you, and they're like, oh my god, thanks mom and dad, bye! And then you go, and then you go in. Um, so I did not pack light, I wish that I packed a little bit lighter, and I know what to pack now, so... We'll get to that when we get to packing. So if you're like me, I would definitely like pack to what you're capable of carrying up to your dorm. I think had the idea that they were gonna, like my parents were gonna be able to help me into my dorm room and just get everything there that we didn't take into account that like I would have to look everything up. And I was on the tippy tippy top floor of Leonard Hall at American University and it was just not, not a fun time. Um, the next thing you do, you check in. This happens pretty quickly. And then they give you more stuff. They give they give you a water bottle, a pen, a little tiny notebook. It was real cute. And then they give you a folder about whatever program like and sub-program you were in. Then I made my way to my dorm room where my roommate was. Everyone there is so eager to make friends. I cannot explain to you whether you're an introvert, extrovert, it doesn't really matter like everyone is talking everyone wants to be friends with people um your first friend at least my first friend was my roommate hi emily if you're watching this video but she was literally like my best friend the entire time that we were there and it was absolutely incredible and i love her i actually know that there were a good amount of girls in our dorm that didn't get along with their roommate but i got along with mine fine so i would encourage you to be nice to your roommate Ugh, the air conditioning went on. I'm so sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I took a tour. It was either take a tour or get lunch. I wish I picked lunch. You're gonna get to know the campus either way, um, just because you're gonna be walking around in it for a week and a half or two weeks if you're like me. By the time dinner rolls around, you're gonna be so hungry. Now, if we're moving on to like more of the bulk of the day, like not the first day, like more of like the rest of your time there, your day from like, mm, 8 30 a.m to like 10 30 at night your schedule is full i tried to wake up at 5 a.m but i think i i woke up at 5 a.m for like five out of the nine days um because i wanted to take a shower and read my book and like journal and blow dry my hair and do my makeup you're not gonna want to do that like i i get like the the <laughs> i get the showering <laughs> get the showering and blow drying your hair and doing your makeup and like kind of like the getting ready thing but don't do that obviously this stuff isn't stupid but I found that it was more to carry um but if you're down to do that do whatever you want lights out was at midnight and then I woke up at 5 a.m. And you best believe that I was in that common room chatting it up with people for hours. And I went into my bedroom and I slept for five hours and I woke up and it was so tiring. A lot of people are going to complain about the food there. I know the subway was on, like was open, um, but I would highly recommend 
dealing with the cafeteria food for as long as possible. I'm not picky with food and even I got kind of sick of the rotation, but the sugar cookies were so dang good. They were so good. I crave those every day of my life. I crave those sugar cookies and the hot dogs so often. I can't like even describe to you. And I think it was like day seven that me and my friends finally went to Subway for lunch instead. And then we got Chipotle at one point and then we got Subway again. So we were not <laughs> like spenders with our food. Um, I would say like, you're paying for free meals, because you don't have a free meal, so I would say take advantage of it while you can, and try to eat a variety of things, and one day you can have a meal, you know, because you're paying a lot of money for food, and it would be stupid to then waste $100, because you can buy something that's worth it, and it's actually $100 for the rest of the time. Oh, what else do I wish I did differently? The bottom line is have fun. You're gonna make so many friends, you're not even gonna believe it. Even if you are like kind of more introverted, I know like my friend Jacob was more on the introverted side, and was like a little bit scared to make friends. I'm sorry, Jacob, if I'm calling you out. Um, but everyone made friends i don't know a single person that went the entire nine days without making a single friend and then when everyone left i literally cried like me emily jacob i don't william wasn't there sorry william but the three of us literally cried so hard because we were like this is over we're done like we're never gonna see each other for like a year um but yeah you're gonna have an excellent time and i'm super excited for all the things that you have in store for yourself. The next category, um, that was a really long category. I'm super sorry, we'll, we'll try to make the clothing one super quick. Um, it's attire. Clothes were annoying. So the professional, one to two uses, don't bring two outfits, just bring one outfit. Um, if you are m masculine presenting, I would say, go with a suit. Female presenting, I wore a dress. It's just a lot more straightforward than anything else business casual um it says on the actual thing business casual is to be worn every day for half the day and then casual worn for the rest of the day that is a lie <laughs> no one changed i don't i i don't know if we weren't allowed to but no one ever changed we only wore business casual pretty much every day and there was one field trip that we were supposed to wear business casual but it was so hot and it was right after Roe v. Wade got overturned actually, so everything was still kind of like crazy. It's like, are we going to be able to make it to Capitol? I don't know. Like, <laughs> and so it's a little bit crazy, but um, so they just let us wear casual outfits. Another thing, no business casual, so subjective, incredibly subjective. I know a girl, she wore like a bodysuit and a skirt, like a tennis skirt, and it wasn't not business casual, but me and my family took business casual very literally and it looked like i was a little like businesswoman every day walking in no denim no denim no crop tops be tasteful um but you know have fun for the nine day i would say bring maybe three casual outfits casual attire you know pick your poison a lot of the tas are like the adults that you will be around for most of the time there were barely there was barely anyone over the age of like 25 there i think and even the people that were they weren't gonna call you out and be like your neckline is too low and it's distracting like they weren't like that in any way I, they didn't care <laughs> that's probably not a bit showing if anyone from nsl is watching this i think my ta was like 20 and he was not going to tell 15 year old me, you need to cover up more because that would have been weird, right? Um, for like the rest of the things. One thing that I would say is if you have long hair like me, bring a shower cap. I did not bring one. I used my poncho that I brought for it because I was sick of washing my hair every day. You could like stand like this and you like your hair would still be wet by the end of it. And it's like, if your hair gets wet, you might as well just wash the rest of your hair please bring a hair dryer it does not say optional so i don't know why people thought it would be optional but just bring it i know a lot of people there was one girl that brought like a curler and like everyone on my floor used that curler it was giving lice and i just wasn't about that i did not bring a curler to nslc i wouldn't um but you do you if you curl your hair every single day you do that not me though hangers um, they, they provide their drawers. I brought hangers because my things were ring gold. So I wanted to hang them up and give them a moment. There was only one instant where anyone was sent away for not being in 
the right attire um and that was when we had speakers like really like famous speakers um there so you know do what they say then it says bring a notebook pens pencils highlighters and a backpack i wouldn't bring a backpack it was humid in dc when i was there and that meant i sweat a lot i highly recommend a tote bag i would say have your tote bag like with your laptop in it for like the first bit of the day when you're um like learning and then leave your laptop in your dorm and then get a like a like a fanny pack <laughs> don't do the purse thing especially if it's like really long crossbody there was a girl that got her prepaid credit card stolen so if you have like a fanny pack and it's right here you can just kind of <laughs> smack anyone that <laughs> tries to take your stuff field trips really all you need headphones maybe phone your wallet I was about to say your keys, but your your key to get into your dorm room is gonna be like around your neck all the time. So also, I forgot to mention this in the first category, but please just wear your lanyard at all times. This did not happen to me, but my TA told a horror story about it. Basically, it was raining and he was in the law NSLC one. And so they wanted to go to the Supreme Court and someone left their lanyard and they left it all the way back like the natural history museum so they had to go to the natural history museum get the lanyard and come all the way back and it was pouring rain and they were just sitting there and they had to walk through the supreme court building like soaking wet don't be that person everyone hates that person at american linens were provided at columbia they are not but i would say bring linens anyway bring them anyway i don't even want to call them that the sheets it was like I think they had like a really big king size sheet and they cut it because my roommate's one was genuinely cut like the like cut with scissors and it was very funny she brought sheets I did not I was freezing cold every night also bring towels um it says that they provide one small towel and they really mean small towel I forgot to mention this in the toiletries there were some girls that walked down walked down the little hallway in just a towel i was not one of those girls i there were some girls that brought um a rope i would say that's a better bet i was under the thing of like i just got out of the shower i put my hair in a trivia twist and i like dried off my body and then i got into my clothes for the day like and then i left the bathroom please bring shower shoes there were some girls that didn't and they just had to stand on the, the communal shower floors and that's gross that's kind of it for this video um i hope that this helped someone feel a little bit more prepared going into this it's very scary um especially if it was your first time away or it's going to be your first time away like it was mine it was really scary but i had a blast and i kind of didn't want to leave my ta said it like the first day but nslc really is what you make of it i knew a couple people that kind of just like crossed their arms and just went mm, i don't want to be here and you know be that person sure like it didn't dampen me from having a good time but i think i got way more out of the experience and i had a lot more fun than the person that sat in the corner going mm, i don't want to be here another thing that i didn't mention in the first category that i wish i did but if you personally don't say what your interests are like don't be afraid to talk about it when you're there because genuinely like my two best friends i made there my roommate emily and my friend jacob both of them the reason why we're friends is because we're swifties and we love taylor swift and it was genuinely so amazing and so fun so please don't be scared to like talk about that type of thing but you're gonna have a great time i believe in you all so yes love you and this was my guide to nslc 2k23 all right